2013 was an amazing year. One of the things that I'm so impressed with was their record sales. Every month was either the best or second best in terms of sales in the history of footers. We came into the year thinking if we did $3 million in sales, that would be an amazing year. And we're going to go over 3.5. So I can't tell you how proud I am of our team and what we've accomplished this year. Not only did we reach bre uh, record-breaking sales this year, but we also won some amazing awards that we're so proud of. In March of this year, we were honored with Best Catering Company in Denver from Colorado Meetings and Events Magazine. Then in April, we were honored with the South Chamber of Commerce, the Small Business of the Year Award. We've also won the Knot Best of Weddings. We've won this for years. This is an industry uh, wedding award. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Woo! Of course, Abby came on board right before the winning season, and so we really attribute all of our success to Abby. What has been the best part of 2013? From the event coordinator and sales team perspective, we had an incredible 2013, and I could not be more proud of our team. Oh, we had a five-year trip to Turks and Caicos. That was, uh, that was a blast. I think my favorite was the, the tasting day, wine tasting, when we dragged April from the, uh, from the brink of not going <laughs> yeah. to, uh, to an all-day event. And we had our, our good buddy Tuck who kept, <laughs> kept yeah. filling, up, filling up our wine glass. I rallied. Yeah, she was a trooper for that. <laughs> my, was a lot of wine. My mouth was purple by the end of that day. Just, oh, and your teeth. And teeth, yeah. yeah. Was, what has been my favorite part about 2013 uh, is my lovely walk-in. Um, I finally got to take it over, and it looks clean. <laughs> in the process of figuring out all this cool stuff we're going to do, we forgot to check and see what the electrical situation was. We're uh, on the truck and written ready to fire up the big oven so we can get all the food hot. And we kind of looked at each other and went, well, where are we going to plug this thing into? So we're walking around the yard at this old Jewish temple, I think it was. They've been converted into a house. And we're like, well, can't do that. There's, there's nothing over here. Jody didn't want. Uh, electrical cords going up the stairs into the house, so we're running around the house trying to find electrical outlets. So finally, I look over at the, the house that's right next door to, to where we are, so I got an idea. So I run up, ring the doorbell, knock on the door, and this girl with about 800 facial piercings answers and tattoos and weird hairdo, I'm going, oh my god. Uh, hi, I, I'm Sam, I'm with the catering company. Can we uh, buy some electricity for you, off of you for the next two hours? Her brother comes to the door, he's got, you know, all the, all the accessories as well and not, not the nicest looking guy. I say, hey, do you mind if we, you know, run this extension cord into your house uh, for two, three hours, I'll give you like 40 bucks. He just kind of stares at me and goes, yeah, I guess we can do that. What, how long did you say? And we got the food hot and, and everything went down without a hitch. The Footers family has had lots of big developments this year, including this little munchkin, Audrey. Um, we, Ryan and I had another baby, and then Colbert is pregnant with her first child due in March, which is super exciting. Oh, I'll tell you about a big development in 2013. This bad boy took six years, but I finally got it. Another big thing is that I will be retiring the Quinn last name, but luckily we now have the new modern Quinn flatware named after yours truly. Uh, Carrie got engaged, Carl got engaged, Abby bought her first house, and Anthony and April bought a new house. So we've just been growing and moving and having a really fun time working hard while doing it all. <laughs> My favorite part of 2013 is obviously becoming part of the Footers family. It has been a great experience so far and I just absolutely love it here. Anthony and I look over the sales numbers and each month we would look at it and Anthony would go, I think these are wrong, I think I'm missing something, this can't be right, and every single month would be better than the last. My favorite part about 2013 was 
probably getting the opportunity to go out to Dove Valley and cater to the Broncos. Um, I wasn't really a Broncos fan beforehand, but I am now. I think it's one of the coldest Decembers on record, especially working events. So we had negative 15 degrees on one of our busiest weekends in the month of December. I was chefing in events. I got promoted from prep chef to event chef this holiday season. And um, it was so cold in the garage that all of my sauces froze. Yeah, freaking cold. <laughs> What is your favorite part about working at Footers Catering? My favorite part about working at Footers is coming in every day and being really proud to be here and walking through the door and seeing this building and seeing people that I call family and just being so proud of everything that we've accomplished. I'm uh, Tanner, the, the warehouse manager here at Footers. Uh, we just really like to have fun here. Um, you know, anything we can do to blow off a little bit of steam, it's pretty uh, pretty good time, you know, play a little ping pong, shoot some hoops. Jordan. The people. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This guy right here. And this one. Obviously. Yeah. Um, we make the, the best out of every situation. <laughs> this job is fun and it's good people and it's never a dull moment. Oh, there's a lot of perks to working here. Um, I would say the culture is probably top. Everyone has great personalities here. We're always uh, doing fun gatherings, whether it be happy hours or pumpkin carving contest. That's probably my favorite overall. I liked when John and I took the kayaks out <laughs> in the ocean and our, kind of too far. <laughs> our two and a half hour expedition on the sea kayak. <laughs> yeah, it was like three and a half hours. It was hours. a long time. Yeah, well, we, and then on the way back, we almost got crushed into the, the rocks. Yeah. There was one point, yeah, Anthony and I were out there like, oh, we should probably head back. It's drifting us out here pretty good. So we beelined it back and we were like, hey, Seemed like forever. We just kept paddling, paddling. We're taking breaks. Our arms are getting tired. We look, but we can't see them anymore. Oh my God! We have... <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a work that was a workout getting back. The best part of working for footers is traveling all over different events and all the good coworkers we work with. I just want to know when this guy's going hunting. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny story because uh, I still haven't heard from them. I still haven't contacted them. But Anthony and I did a cater source presentation on. 20 ways to wow your clients. And it was kind of off the cuff. It was just cool ideas that we've had to make our clients happy. And it went amazing. We still had people sending us Facebook, or Facebook posts and messages on how awesome it was and how they've implemented our ideas. Non-stop work in the warehouse. Staying busy, uh, see, seeing all the guys uh, still being happy with all the work and everything. Um, meeting uh, a lot of new people, fun party shifts, um, hearing a lot of jokes uh, that I hadn't heard before. And uh, yeah, just, just enjoying, enjoying each day pretty much. We did an event for um, a client appreciation for the Zorns, for Zorn Photography, and it was a um, Snickers pie that we garnished with chocolate and caramel sauce underneath a chocolate balloon. We brought out little pictures of hot creme de cocoa and had all the guests pour it on top. And when the chocolate melted away, it became a chocolate sauce for the dessert. Um, it was a really cool interactive dessert for everybody. How many weddings did Footers cater this year? 170, I would say. Plenty, is that a, is that a quantifiable number? Um, if I had to guess, I'd say probably in the 175 range. I'm gonna say 320. I think I had 163, 392. The weddings for Footers, you guys did, let's say 150. I would say maybe 430. I'm gonna more than that. I'm gonna go, no, I'm gonna go 435. Really? <laughs> going by uh, quick math, 7 times 11 times 38 times uh, 20. Oh, I would say about uh, 400. 300? 400? No, let's go higher. Let's go 6. <laughs> 837. Um, I would say uh, closer to 400, but I'll stay maybe 390. 165. I know I got here late, but I was at least on five or six of them, so it was a good time. I'm going to just put it that. <laughs> we catered, I'm going to say 167 weddings. 182. We probably catered, I want to say like 2,000. I'm going to say 162. We catered 163 weddings in 2013. How many bacon wrap dates were made this year? 1,022. 
<laughs> Just a thousand? <laughs> Over three thousand. Okay. We made two thousand five hundred in two weeks. So I think this year we probably made at least a million bacon wrap dates. <laughs> oh, at least seventy five hundred, maybe close to ten thousand. <laughs> On the whole year. I think they did like five thousand in the last couple of weeks, so we'll take that out between, I don't know, twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand. Uh, I at least want to say we probably did well over um, 250000 at least. At least 3500 10 million, I don't know. <laughs> it was a lot. There was bacon for days. I don't know how many bacon wrap dates we, we made, but I know I ate at least 100. I would say probably 52506 I'd say... 3, I made a couple, but uh, I made a lot. I bet made a lot. I'm gonna go sixty thousand one hundred and eighty-two. I'm gonna go with seventy-two thousand and three. Okay, five hundred. Five hundred. Yes. That's a good number. <laughs> one hundred and ten thousand eighteen. <laughs> I would say uh, twenty thousand. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't, I don't think I ever want to see one again. This year we made 40,139 bacon wrap dates. So we added in the footers high five button. So that way we could create a party. <laughs> what are you known for at weddings? Dancing. Can you show us a little bit, a little what? something? Oh, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the cupid shuffle. Yeah, all right. Okay. There it is. <laughs> What's your favorite part about working at Footers, Derek? Anthony. <laughs> we're just so proud of everything that the team has done to make all of our events incredible and do some new and different things and really, really stand by our morals of great customer service. No funny stories? I don't know. What was so funny about working for Footers? I don't know. <laughs> so then we went swimming fully clothed in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> and then I peed in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> All of us did. There you go. In the pool. Yeah. All right. She, got got that she announced it. At least she announced it. And you told me to pee. Well. I said I have to pee. And you're like, just go. I'm like, fine, I'm going to pee in the pool. And I did. So and we're all still drunk. And Who did this? <laughs> this is old. I hate you guys. Question, who are the people in your uh, frames, your pictures? Oh, um, these are two of my best friends, Sally and Nick. <laughs> I just really, they, they just mean a lot to me. <laughs> April, oh. come out and party at, when she hits it. Oh, I'm putting this. All right, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know all the footer's core values, Katie? Well, they're all right behind me, so I could cheat, but, um, off the top of my head, really quickly, I know there's fun, balance, ethics, um, maybe I will <laughs> cheat. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs>